The Port of Geelong has all its major facilities in a relatively small area in the northwestern part of Corio Bay. Let's take a closer look at the main port facilities and discover what they're used for. This is Point Wilson Pier, and at nearly three kilometres long, the pier stretches way out into Corio Bay and is used by the Australian Defence Force for importing and exporting explosives. The pier and the area around the pier are totally out of bounds to the public. I wonder why that is. We have now come a fair way south around the bay and we're at Refinery Pier. This pier is primarily used by Shell for the importation of crude oil and the exportation of refined petroleum products such as diesel fuel, unleaded petrol and avgas. The types of ships that use this facility are tankers. Although Shell is the main user of the pier, Terminals Proprietary Limited also uses it for the importation of chemicals. Further south again is Lascelles Wharf, which is the largest fertiliser terminal in Australia. Lascelles Wharf is one of the largest fertiliser terminals in Australia. Fertiliser is imported by Institec Pivot and is used for Victorian farms. In addition to fertiliser, Lascelles Wharf also handles a large range of other bulk cargo, like clinker, for the cement industry and mineral sands. This wharf facility is also equipped to handle brake bulk cargo, like these wind towers, which have come from Europe, and specialised project work like oil rig refits and heavy lift vessels. The types of ships that use this facility are bulk carriers and brake bulk carriers. They are loaded and unloaded using both shore and ship-based cranes, as well as a specialised conveyor system. Travelling further around the port, we come to Corio Key. There are two wharves at Corio Key, Corio Key North and Corio Key South. Corio Key North is predominantly used by Midway for exporting wood ships in bulk carriers. Again, the ships are loaded using a specialised conveyor system. Corio Key South is used for general cargo and steel. Both Ford and Toyota use the imported steel for building cars. The general cargo and steel are carried in brake bulk ships. Next to Corio Key is the Bulk Grain Pier, which is one of Victoria's largest grain ports and is used by Grain Corp to export wheat and barley to all sorts of destinations around the world. Bulk carriers are used to carry this grain. One of the last major port facilities is Point Henry where Alcoa have their smelter. Bulk carriers that are loaded with alumina, which is the raw material from which aluminium is made, are unloaded here, ready for use at the smelter, and then turned in to aluminium.